We are here with Infineon at Embedded World 2023. Now, you may remember the last time we spoke to them that they had some really awesome batteryless NFC locks. In fact, they, they do still have them there right here. But today, we're still going to be talking about NFC, but in a slightly different context. Now, smart thermostats are awesome. It's a way of making your thermostat smart. Uh, there are Wi-Fi smart thermostats, but what if you don't want to attach your thermostat to a Wi-Fi network? Well, there is a more secure way you can still have a smart thermostat, and that is by using NFC. Now, I'm here with Stathis, who's going to tell me all about it. Um, what's the reason? for uh, taking this technology that you know you usually would have Wi-Fi or something like that connected to it and turning it into an NFC device uh, yeah so basically a lot of people have concerns about safety mm -hmm. and their data privacy um, once something is on the cloud it's really hard to provide 100% security mm -hmm. and so this is actually an alternative you can still have uh, most of the functionality of a smart thermostat but have uh, basically none of the disadvantages of having data privacy issues. And yeah, so the way this works is it has an NFC, our NFC chip inside it. And if I tap it, you can see that it's already moving. And yeah, it's trying to adjust the temperature. Obviously it's not connected to a heating source, so it will never do that. Um, but yeah, this is the basic idea. You can set up a program, program it to, start to turn on and turn off in certain times of day, and then you can have yeah, a programmable smart thermostat without uh, drawbacks of having it connected to the cloud. Awesome, yeah. Um, and one of the other things that I, I know was mentioned just before we started this demo is that um, the other side to having a Wi-Fi and a fully smart connected thermostat is cost. Because uh, uh, the technology that goes into that actually costs a little bit more than what we're looking at here. Because this, this is actually a, a fairly low cost solution, both in terms of power, but in terms of cost as well. So compared to sort of like Wi-Fi solutions and stuff, how much cheaper is this to kind of get going? Well, I can't really tell you right now, uh, but I would guess that it's fairly cheaper. Yeah. Um, and not only that, but it is also using a lot less batteries. Yeah. So yeah, you you could have it on for longer. You could have a lot of different advantages in terms of energy. Absolutely, yeah. And this is uh, this here is just one of several uh, uh, examples they have on display of uh, how this NFC technology that we looked at last time that goes into the batteryless stuff can also be used with a battery. Uh, one of the other things that we saw was a, a CO2 monitor that uh, will constantly be logging CO2, but you can get a reading at any time with NFC. There was uh, also uh, another uh, example, which I've just lost now, which is a temperature logger, yes. Um, a temperature logger, which, I mean, this example board is a little bit larger, but you could really bundle it down to just a tiny battery and a tiny chip that could be put in with any product and log the temperature for the entire journey of that product and then you could read it via NFC at the end. It really is quite powerful. Um, anyway, thank you so much for giving us our time today to speak about th th this. I hope you have a fantastic conference. And uh, yeah, uh, NFC stuff from Infineon keeps getting cooler. Um, if you're interested in finding out more about these batteryless ones I mentioned, I'll also leave a link to that in the description of this video and the blog post accompanying it.